my name is Dave Votipka. I'm the GM and Creative Director at Chaos Studios working on Homefront. Today we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the multiplayer starting with Battle Commander. It's a dynamic system that's based on some really well-known shooter mechanics like streaks, escalations, and rewards. But what it does is it creates this cat and mouse hunter hunted game. And it takes the idea of large-scale warfare and what we say is that it makes it personal. Enemy unit has killed multiple comrades. So if one enemy player gets on a streak, he gets several kills in a row, for example. Um, then other players on, on, the, on the opposing team, their battle commander will identify that streak player as a priority threat and will assign multiple hunters to him. Um, the streak player gets additional buffs. Every time he gets more kills, he'll get a different priority level, two star, three star, up to five star. And he'll get buffs to try and help keep him alive. Well, the other team will have more and more hunters assigned to come and hunt him down. Okay, we're joining a multiplayer match about halfway through right now. The USA is down. We're going to follow one of the players here and show, show you some of the Battle Commander events. Priority now, as the player just died, there was a Battle Commander, a priority threat assigned. You'll see it when he respawns here. So on the right side of the screen, the Hunt Soldier, there's a one-star Battle Commander enemy, priority threat. The player just bought a UAV sweep by pressing down on the D-pad, which cost him, I think, 250 battle points. And you can see the threat up there. He's so gonna take out this soldier, gets 130 battle points for the kill, plus over 30 for the revenge kill. And then he just took out the priority threat and got extra battle points for that. Now that he's killed so many enemies in a row, he's actually gone on his own Battle Commander mission. Okay, we're jumping ahead now. You can see there's a LAV down the street. And another one to the right. <laughs> jumping ahead to this player. A melee kill from his ally. So on the left hand above the mini-map, you can see that the USA is slightly behind. Whoever gets their bar to the top of, of your line there will win the, the front line, and then the map will move to the next, the next set of objectives. All right, a new threat's been assigned. Somebody's on a kill streak. So that icon you can see floating in the air shows you the verticality of where the threat is, but you'll never know where the exact position. If you look on the mini-map, you'll see that yellow circle. All you know is you're somewhere in the area that the enemy is, but you don't know exactly where. So we're going to deploy a, a drone here. This is an assault drone. We're going to try and find this threat. Took out a different soldier first. Okay, so that's the threat there. He's got one orange skull, and we got him. Now we're on a drone streak. So this drone is a priority threat to the other team. His, his buff at level one is a constant UAV scan. He just got another kill and needs one more kill to get to a two-star threat, which he did. He's now four enemies alerted to this drone's presence to take him out. And he's received extra drone health as a buff for level two. 
Well, let's see how long he can stay alive. Three kills, two more kills now to get to the next level. He just unlocked a new rank, which will allow him to unlock uh, new weapons in the persistent unlock tree. And his drone was destroyed, but he is still alive. All right, so the match is coming to the end now. You can see that the points are pretty neck and neck. The Americans are now pulling ahead, as you can see. This is a team deathmatch battle commander mode, so it's based on kills. The score line. We got 50 battle points for a kill assist there. And his drone has been destroyed. Nearly at the end of the match, jumping ahead. Some rooftop action. And great comeback victory. Now we're gonna look at one of the game modes in Homefront called Ground Control. 